In this video, I try beating Terraria as the Clicker class. However, with each click grants me experience towards leveling up my clickers. With each level increases the damage, critical strike chance, size, number of clicks, and best of all, additional projectiles. Just how strong will I be able to get these clickers to, and will it be enough to take down the final boss Moonlord? Stay tuned to find out. I would also like to announce the start of memberships for this channel. If you want to show some extra support, for $5 a month, you'll be able to access perks such as priority reply to comments, member shoutouts, photo and status updates, as well as early access to my newly created videos. Shout out to my most recent members who joined, I appreciate all of you. Link will be in the description below. Alright, let's get on with the video. Here we go guys, let's get the first clicker so that I can start killing some enemies. All I'm going to need to do is gather some wood, make a workbench, and then I can craft the wooden clicker. This weapon is very weak considering it only has 2 damage and no special effects, so I'll be replacing it almost right away as soon as I gather some more materials. But let's test this thing out on this blue slime. So one click from this wooden clicker gains us 5 points of experience. And I'll check it again once it reaches level 1 to see what changes. But for now, let's try to find a cave to start mining. Oh my god, that's an underground pyramid. I'm hoping for either the sandstorm in a bottle or the flying carpets. Alright, let's see what I get. Wait. It has a clicker inside and the flying carpets? Okay, so I got the Pharaoh's clicker. 5 click damage, 4% critical strike chance, and every 25 clicks, it has the special effect of the Pharaoh's command. So, it summons a mask that shoots at your cursor in response to your clicks. Interesting, okay. I did manage to get my wooden clicker to level 1, so it gained 2 click damage and 1% critical strike chance. But, it's time to say goodbye, because now we have this clicker. Oh yeah, and the radius is so much larger compared to the wooden clicker. Let's test this thing out. 3, 2, 1. Okay, there's the mask. And with every click... Okay! Oh, shoots all lasers! Oh, I can... What? If I click fast enough, I can summon out two at the same time. Oh, that is nasty. I do see a house and a life crystal over there, so I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, this thing is pretty strong. There's a bass statue, an extractinator, and inside this chest, snake charmer's flute. There's a ruby over here, so I will be able to summon the king slime later on. Ooh, there's three! That's gonna be a lot of experience. Okay, the pharaoh's clicker is now at level 1. So it has 7 click damage and 5% critical strike chance. Oh, there's a chance for it to summon 2 Pharaoh's head at the same time now. Wait, this clicker is going to be so strong. Look at that. It's already at level 2. Oh, yes. And the Dune Rider boots. What a great start to the video. Another Dune Rider boots. Okay, this is my third Dune Rider boots. What is going on? Usually, I would be so unlucky finding these boots. Another one? What is going on? This is number four now. I will equip this one though, since it has plus four critical strike chance. Found the magic mirror. Alright, I think I've been down here for way too long. Let's head back up. And let's build a house to store my stuff away. Alright, inventory is kind of cleaned out. Let's first make ourselves a platinum pickaxe, then the amber hook. There is the platinum clicker, but I'm not going to make that because the pharaoh's command is so much better than just a regular double click effect. I'll be saving these platinum bars to make as many slime crowns as possible. I did manage to find 6 rubies, so let's make 6 platinum crowns. Alright, I should be good to take on the King Slime now. So, let's head to the Corruption and make ourselves a Slime Crown. Slime Crown made. 
And just a quick update on the Pharaoh's Clicker. It is now at level 5 with 15 click damage and 13% critical strike chance. So it's now able to summon out two Pharaoh's head 100% of the time. Without further ado, let's summon the boss. There we go. Okay, here comes the heads. Oh yeah. That is so much damage. Wow, that was fast. So just from a single King Slime, it has brought my Pharaoh's Clicker to level 6. A whole level increase. Now, I can make three more. That's one. Level 7. Got the Slimy Saddle as well. And the Ninja Shirt to complete the Ninja Armor Set. I think what I'm going to do with the rest of the Slime Crowns is save them until I get myself another Clicker. Because I don't want to pour all the experience into the Pharaoh's Clicker. Otherwise, that'd be a bit boring. So the next Clicker that I'll be aiming for is going to be the Dark Clicker. So let's go take on the Eater of Worlds. Actually, I don't need to fight the Eater of Worlds just yet. Because with the Platinum Pickaxe, I can just mine all of this Demonite Ore. There we go. Got enough. Let's make the Dark Clicker. So it has 6 click damage, 17% critical strike chance, and every 8 clicks allows me to do a Dark Burst. Ooh, and we got Elite on it. Wow, that is so good. Plus 17% damage, which is huge, plus 2% critical strike chance, plus 15% base clicker radius, and negative 1 clicks required to activate the Dark Burst. So the Dark Burst deals damage in a large area of effect. Let's test it out. Oh. Ah, I see. Let's use this against the King Slime. Okay. It's not bad. Just gotta wait until I level it up some more. All done. Okay. Ooh, it gained two levels. Let's do it one more time. Okay, the radius of the Dark Burst is definitely way bigger. Let's see, if I click here, yep, it deals damage. Oh, it went all the way up there. Wait, this radius is huge then, what? Level 3 now. Wait, this clicker would be so good against the Eater of Worlds then. Especially if I can get to that clumped up part in time. Let's go find out. Alright, let's do this thing. Go, go, go. Oh! What the heck? Wait! That did more than 50% of its health in an instant. What the heck did I just witness? Oh! Jesus! Wait, what level is this clicker now? Level 5. It gained three levels. No, I have to summon it one more time. Here we go. Go, go, go. Click. Okay, I didn't make it in time. That's okay. The damage is still insane. All done. It is at level 7 now. Now that I have a bunch of Demonite Bars and Shadow Scales, let's craft the Nightmare Pickaxe, as well as the full Shadow Armor. Beautiful. And each piece gives 5% increased Critical Strike Chance. So in total, I now have 35% Critical Strike Chance. Let's build some NPC houses. And then let's make our way to the dungeon to summon Skeletron. Oh, and a meteorite has fallen. Gonna have to look for that later on. Okay, arena is all built. I think a single platform arena should be good enough. Let's talk to the old man to summon the boss. Three, two, one. 
go, go, go. Get up. Alright, here we go. Damn, those hands are getting destroyed. Okay, both hands are down. Uh, let's switch out to my Pharaoh's Clicker. See if that's any better. Okay, here we go. Die, die, die. Perfect. Now that I have access into the dungeon, I'll be looking for the Cobalt Shield and the Shadow Key. I'm not sure if there are any clickers in shadow chests, but I'm going to find out. Ooh, gravitation potions. There's the mechanic. And I will be purchasing a whole bunch of wires, because these wires are used to make the motherboard armor sets. I also just noticed that every click hits about two to three times. That's pretty strong. Oh, wait, okay, the suspicious looking eye, but what is that clicker? Novice Slick Clicker. It has 10 click damage, 23% critical strike chance, and with every six clicks, activates splash. Creates a fountain of six damaging water projectiles. <gasps> oh, okay. Let's start leveling this clicker up and see how good it is. Okay, there's the shadow key. And I did find this glass of milk, which I thought was a consumable, but it's actually an accessory. Gain up to 15% click damage based on your amount of clicks within a second. I do click pretty fast, so this accessory is gonna be very useful. Ooh, found another glass of milk, but this one has angry on it. Okay, finally! Found the Cobalt Shield. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's sell some of my stuff away. Wait, what's this? Sticky Keychain? Every 10 clicks sticks damaging slime onto your screen. Okay, it's a material. Wait, there's a cookie here too! Oh my god! Cookies will periodically spawn within your clicker radius. Click the cookie to gain bonus clicker damage radius and life regeneration oh give me that it is nighttime right now so let's summon the i of cthulhu oh this clicker it's pretty good what i was not expecting that much damage clearly this is way more than six projectiles it is at level 4. Let's do it one more time. But this time, I'll be using the accessories. Okay. Whoa! Wait. That slime is huge. What? Here's the cookie. Click on it. Oh. So the radius increases a decent size. The slime, however, once I get it onto my screen, like that, I can just move on top of the enemy, and it'll deal damage. Let's drink a gravitation potion now to search for some sky islands for some more accessories. Oh, <gasps> another clicker? Starry clicker. 15 clicks activates Starfall. Calls down a piercing star from the heavens. And I also got the lucky horseshoe. Let's see. Okay. Not sure how I feel about this one. It takes too many clicks to activate the ability that's not even that strong. Here's the second one. Shiny red balloon. Okay, now with some wires and tungsten bars, I'm going to craft the motherboard armor sets. So, the helmet increases my base click radius by 20%. The suit increases damage by 6%. Same with the boots. But the set bonus, right click to place a radius extending sensor. Oh! 
I see. Now I can click over here. That's pretty cool. And I can put this anywhere I want, as long as it's in the main radius. Oh, and I almost forgot. Let's go look for that fallen meteorite. There it is. Okay, that's about everything. So with the meteorite bars, I can craft the space clicker. 8 click damage, 8% 8 critical strike chance. Every 6 clicks, activate star storm. That sounds interesting. Causes 3 stars to fall from the sky and explode. Wait, wouldn't this just be a way better version than the starry clicker? Let's see. Oh! I can see this clicker being very good. Before I take on the wall of flesh, I'm going to go down to the jungle and try to find the remaining life crystals to max out my health, as well as some more accessories. And after I do that, I'm going to summon the goblin army manually so that I can find the goblin tinkerer to combine my accessories together. Okay, that's 300 health. Just five more until I max it out. Just need one more. And here's the last life crystal. Enchanted LED. Your clicks produce an enchanted burst of light while accessory is visible. I'm not going to use it, but I'll hold onto it for sure until later on. Found the cloud in a bottle. I think I've found everything that I wanted. But before I go back up onto the surface to summon the goblin army, I am going to summon the queen bee. Three, two, one. And I'll be using the space clicker. Alright, here we go. I still think the slick clicker is just infinitely better. So, even though I level this thing up to like level 10, for example, I think I'm still gonna end up using this one. Wait, no way! Okay, I don't need to summon the army manually then. Lucky me. Almost done here. Okay. Let's open up the treasure bag. And with the bee wax, I can craft the honey glazed clicker. 9 click damage and every click activates sticky honey. Covers enemies under cursor in sticky honey, slowing them. I know for a fact that I won't be using this at all, but might as well just test it out. Here we go. One click. Oh, they are so slow. Wait, they're so slow that if I do spam it like this, they legit can't even move. Alright, let's switch back to the slick clicker. Goblin army has been defeated. Which is going to bring my slick clicker to level 7. That's a lot of water projectiles. <laughs> okay, let's mine underground to search for the goblin tinkerer. Wait, when did I get this? Pro shadowy clicker? I might have gotten it when I defeated the goblin army. 9 click damage, 10% critical strike chance. Every 12 clicks activates curse fires a shadow flame skull towards the nearest enemy. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, I think there needs to be an enemy close by for it to actually activate. Here we go. Oh! It homes in initially, but after that it just goes on its way. Not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using this one. Oh, there's the Goblin Tinkerer. Let's purchase the Rocket Boots, Workshop, and the Mouse Pad. Increases your base click radius by 25%. Alright, so let's start combining some accessories together. First off, the Obsidian Shield. Then Spectre Boots. Milk and Cookies, Blue Horseshoe Balloon, and I think that's about it. Let's head down to Hell to mine some Hellstone. I also want to see if there are anything new inside the Shadow Chests. Nothing new so far. Yeah, don't think there is. 
Anyways, I've mined 350 Hellstone. Let's turn them into bars. With the Hellstone bars, I'm going to craft the Molten Pickaxe as well as the Red Hot Clicker. 13 click damage and every 7 clicks, activate Inferno. Create an explosion, dealing damage and inflicting the oiled and on fire debuffs. Okay. This one seems pretty strong, so let's go level it up. But first, let's see what kind of reforge I can get on this thing. I'm not sure if Elite is the best one. It might be, actually. Yep, I'm just going to stick with Elite then. Okay, here we go. Get up. Ooh. Okay, 10 damage per tick. Yeah, I don't know about this clicker as well. It seems like the slick clicker is just so much better still. Alright, it's finally time to take on the Wall of Flesh. And I've decided that I'll be using the slick clicker for the fights. Wait. There is a new clicker in the shadow chest. Oh my god. The Umbral Clicker. 15 click damage. 12 clicks activate Shadow Lash. Causes a burst of 5 shadow projectiles to seek out nearby enemies. Okay, wait a minute. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, I should have been... I should have spent a little longer <laughs> searching for more shadow chests to find this clicker. Let's hold off on the Wall of Flesh for just a bit. Instead, I'm going to level up the Umbral Clicker with the King Slime. Oh, yeah! <laughs> no, this is so strong! Oh, I can't wait until it reaches, like, level 10. The amount of projectiles is gonna be insane. Okay, it's at level 2. Oh my god, it costs 5 gold to reforge this. Come on, give me elite. Perfect. I think I'm good to take on the Wall of Flesh now. This clicker is only at level 2, but I should be good. It'll level up as I fight the boss. Okay, made it to the end of the world. Let's drop in the voodoo doll to summon the boss. Three, two, one. Okay, let's clear out the hungries first. All right. Damn. The attacks are so pretty. Thousand more health. Okay. The boss didn't even get close to me. Oh, level 5. 31 click damage. And 15% critical strike chance. Let's open up the treasure bag. Oh. What is this? Novice burning super death clicker? That sounds cool. Okay. 24 base click damage. That's pretty high. 6 clicks activate mania. Randomly acts as any possible lesser click effect? Wait. What does that mean? What is that? Wait. Huh? Wait, what are all these? Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, I get it now. All the effects from clickers that are considered to be weaker than this clicker will activate. Yeah, there's the pharaoh's head again. Let's try to get this clicker to elite. Okay, first try. Now, before I go down to the corruption to break some demon altars, I'm going to craft myself another accessory, and that's going to be the clicking glove. While in combat, automatically clicks your current clicker every two seconds. And this accessory can be upgraded to the ancient clicking glove. I just need to kill these ghouls for their ancient cloth. But let's go break some demon altars first. So we've got cobalt, 
or calcum, and adamantite. Okay, just need one more ancient cloth. Okay, got enough cloth. Let's go back home. Once I make the mithril anvil, then I can craft the ancient clicking glove. Oh, and the traveling merchant is selling the button masher as well as the soda. This blazer clicks per second while a clicker is held, and the soda reduces the amount of clicks required for a clicked effect by one. That's enough cobalt. Onto the ore calcum. That should be enough ore calcum. 127. Lastly, the adamantite. But first, let's make the ancient clicking glove. So instead of clicking automatically every two seconds, this accessory clicks every second. And that should be enough adamantite. Now, I think I might have mined too much adamantite because there's no armor that requires it. The only thing I can really make is the adamantite clicker. So this has 33 click damage and every 10 clicks activates true strike. Deals double damage and always inflicts a critical hit. Okay, let's test this thing out. Okay, the damage is pretty high, but I don't think it's better than a clicker that's able to shoot up projectiles. So the mechanic is now selling the hand cream. With it, I'll be able to combine three other accessories to make the gamer crate. So let's purchase it. And this accessory, Increases click damage by 10%, increases base click radius by 50%, reduces the amount of clicks required for a click effect by 20%, clicks produce an enchanted burst of mechanical light, pressing the clicker accessories key will toggle auto click on all clickers? Wait, what? While auto click is enabled, click rates are moderately decreased. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I don't think I'm going to use the auto clicker though, because I'm pretty sure I can click way faster than it. But in total so far, I've clicked over 11,000 times. Let's go up to a sky island now to kill some wyverns for souls of flight so that I can craft myself a pair of wings. Oh my god, that wyvern just got destroyed. Okay, that's enough souls of flight. And that's enough feathers. Let's go ahead and craft the demon wings. I'm all set to take on the mechanical bosses, so let's wait until night to summon them. Wait a minute. You feel vibrations from below and the blood moon is rising. So it looks like I'll be facing the destroyer first. Let's quickly check our super death clicker, level 11 with 54 click damage and 17% critical strike chance. Once Destroyer spawns, I'm gonna quickly run over to the clumped up parts. Anytime now. Is it not spawning? Okay, well, apparently the Destroyer isn't coming, which is weird. So it looks like I'll have to manually summon it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Left side, quick, quick, quick. Okay, it's a clumped up part. Oh, I couldn't really. It's kind of buried underground. It's okay. Look at look at my damage. Oh, this clicker is now at oh my god, level sixteen. Let's summon the twins next. Three, two, one. Spasmatasm first. Oh my god. You're dead. Okay, one more to go. And just like that, the twins have been defeated. I think I have enough time. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Let's also summon Skeletron Prime. And let's take out the hands first. Oh my god, my projectiles are huge! Okay, cannon done. Laser. Oh god. Saws down, and vice is down. Okay, just ahead. The 
There we go. All three mechanical bosses have been defeated. And that's going to bring my burning super death clicker to level 19. Now that I have some hollowed bars, I'm going to craft the full overclock armor set. Set bonus, every 100 clicks briefly grants you overclock, reducing the amount of clicks required for a click effect by 50%. While Overclock is active, you deal 25% less click damage. Wait, I have to test this out. Is this it? It is. Oh my god. All these effects are just activating so frequently now. Oh my god, look at all these slimes. Oh, <laughs> my screen is full. With the remaining hollowed bars, I'm going to craft... Arthur's Clicker, as well as the Pickaxe Axe. Now with Arthur's Clicker, every 10 clicks activates Holy Nova, damages every enemy within the Clicker's radius with a guaranteed critical hit. Ooh. Imagine the radius on this thing once it levels up. I also got the Hemo Clicker from the Blood Moon, but... I'm for sure not going to be using this, because I was meant to get this early on, but this is just the effect of it. Creates 5 gravity affected blood globules that linger. Let's head into the jungle now to search for the plantera bulb and to mine some chlorophytes. Oh, there's the plantera's bulb, so I'll be making the arena right here then. Okay, the arena is all complete, a little bit small but I think it should be good enough. I also managed to mine 174 chlorophyte ore, so let's head back home. And we're gonna use it to craft the chlorophyte clicker. Okay, got elite on it. So it now has 55 click damage, and with every seven clicks, activate toxic release. Expels 10 poisonous clouds around the cursor that linger. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Okay. You know what? Let's use this against Plantera. Alright, let's start it up. Three, two, one. It's coming from the right side. Here we go. Damage is okay for now. Let's see when my overclock hits. Here we go. Oh, look at all those poison clouds. Almost 50%. Here we go. Second phase. Oh my god, that sound. Almost done here. 5,000 more health. All done. Look at how many clouds there are. Wait, what level is this? Oh, gained six levels. Let's head over to the temple now to take on Golem. Okay, made it into the boss room. And in total, I have six power cells. That's going to add up to be a lot of experience. Let's get rid of all the traps. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god! Head is down. Okay, that was fast, but let's see how fast it'll be with this super death clicker. Here we go. Oh my god, that's so much faster! Wow! To be fair, this is level 22 compared to level 12. Let's go back to the core fight clicker. Okay, now that was a lot faster. Level 15. Ch 
Jesus. Okay, officially, the Chlorophyte Clicker is better than the Super Death Clicker. Last one. Okay, all done. I am going to stay here a bit longer to farm some more solar tablet fragments. Because once I get enough of these, I'll be able to craft another set of armor. Oh my god, these clouds are huge now. Okay, that should be enough solar tablet fragments. Now, I can craft the Precursor armor set. As well as the Lizard Clicker. So for this set bonus, while in combat, your cursor constantly leaves behind damaging after images. And for the Lazard Clicker, 77 click damage, every 8 clicks activates Solar Flare. Spawns a lingering sun projectile that damages and inflicts the oiled and on fire debuffs. And this is what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty. I have three more power cells, so let's just use them all with the Lizard Clicker. Oh, those are my after images. Do they deal damage? Oh, I think they do. Oh, <gasps> okay. I'm not clicking anything. Okay, right off the bat, I can tell this thing is um pretty weak. I might actually like the overclock armor set a bit more as well. All done. Let's try again now that it's at level 6. Okay, that time it wasn't so bad. It's still nighttime, so what I'm gonna do is summon the destroyer once more to get my hands on some more hollowed bars. With the hollowed bars, I'll be able to upgrade the ancient clicking glove to the regal clicking glove. Here we go. Okay. All done. Pretty sure I would have one shot it if I went straight to the clumped up parts. All right, so let's craft it now. Now my clicker automatically clicks every half a second. Now that it's daytime, let's start up the solar eclipse to gain some more experience and another clicker. Oh, there we go. The Novice Ecliptic Clicker. This doesn't have a high base click damage, but let's see the special effect. So for every 12 clicks, activates totality. Creates a miniature eclipse, repeatedly firing out homing projectiles. Ooh! Wait, if I level this thing up, Okay, the clicker is now at level 20. And it looks like this. But for this clicker effect, I think the overclock armor set is going to be a lot better. Okay, overclock time. Yeah, I'm able to summon out way more. Let's go use it against the lunatic cultist. Let's begin. go okay yo it's getting shredded oh that wasn't bad but i can't help but feel that the chlorophyte clicker is just so much better the ecliptic clicker is more of a machine gun and the chlorophyte clicker is more of a nuke Yeah, I think I'll be staying with the Chlorophyte Clicker. This is just so much better. Vortex Pillar has been destroyed. Stardust Pillar is down. I'm down. <laughs> okay, so after destroying those two pillars, I can now craft the Astral Clicker or the Mice Clicker. The Mice Clicker does have a bit more damage, but not by a lot. Every eight clicks, Activates Collision, 
fires out eight erratic bolts outwards that, after a second, collapse back. Then for the Astral Clicker, every 12 clicks activate Spiral. Creates a spiral galaxy that draws in enemies within close proximity. Okay, this one sounds a lot cooler. So let's do it. Let's get this to Elite. Perfect. 140 damage now. Okay. Oh! Wait, that was a lot of damage. 600? So after a while, it explodes and... That's when it deals over 500 damage. And I just noticed, this clicker does not have a radius. I can just click anywhere on my screen. There goes the solar pillar. One more to go. And there goes the last pillar. Now, I'm a bit worried about Moonlord. I don't think this clicker is going to pull the boss, so if that's the case, then I'm going to use the Mice Clicker. There we go. Okay, yeah. It is not pulling in Moonlord. But the damage! Look at the damage! One hand's down already! Can I kill it before it shoots out its laser? Yep. Okay, we're good. Oh my god. Okay, let's use the Mice Clicker now. Those proje Those projectiles! Oh my god, the overclock armor set. Look at how many there are. Oh! <laughs> and from Moonlord's treasure bag, I got the Lord's Clicker. 151 click damage. 11 clicks activates Conqueror. Creates an area of effect phantasmal explosion that deals double damage and a guaranteed critical hit. Oh, I have to see this. Ooh. Okay. Okay, let's summon Moonlord again. But this time, I'll be using the Lord's Clicker. There we go. Ooh. Did I just see 2,000 damage? Oh god. Heal up. Fly over. That is 2,000 damage. Ooh. Come on, open up. Here we go. Just the core. Okay, now this is a nuke. I thought the Chlorophyte Clicker was a nuke, but this is on a whole new level. There's just one more armor set to be made, but in order to do that, I'm gonna have to destroy the Celestial Pillars again. So let's go take down the Lunatic Cultist once more. Jesus! Okay. And Nebula is down. I should have enough fragments now. Let's make the mice boots, mask, and suit. Whoa, 94 defense from 67. Set bonus, right-clicking a position within your clicker radius will teleport you to it. Oh. Oh. There is uh, no cooldown on it. Damn, my Lord's Clicker has 231 click damage. Now that I'm pretty much all maxed out, let's do Moon Lord one last time. Alright, that's the last pillar. Oh, look at that. 23,000 damage. But that's only against the worm. Here we go. What the? Wait, we just started. <laughs> that was legit less than five seconds. All right, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment down below if you have any other mod or video ideas you want me to try out, 
and of course subscribe to the channel. I'll also leave the mods I've used in the description below if you guys want to try this out for yourselves and use the clickers I haven't used. That's it for me, I'll see you all next time. Peace!